morning. Today is a very exciting day for me as a freight agent because I just uh, issued a load confirmation for the biggest load in terms of money in my broker career. <laughs> so this is my second load. But today's video, uh, you can probably tell by the title and the, um, and the intro, it's not about freight forwarding. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, firearms, okay? Firearms only. If you're not interested, click off and uh, watch something else. So I have a list here, right? I created a list uh, of some firearm related topics. And today I want to just uh, cover something that I spent a lot of time, you know, thinking about. Um, and specifically why I chose Mossberg over Remington and Benelli. Because ever since I was doing research into this, you know, uh, early on I decided I wanted a shotgun. And then I started looking into rifles, then I decided, hey, I'll, I probably should get a rifle, but of course rifles are, you know, a good rifle is twice as expensive as a shotgun, at least here in Canada. And then you need, a, you need a scope, you know. So I was researching, like I'm telling you, like I, <laughs> I, I spent so much time, you know, reading and watching videos on this, you know, what kind of stand, you know, bipod stand you need on a rifle, what kind of, what's the best scope, okay, what's the best caliber for long range, okay, what, what kind of barrel do you need, heavy barrel, light barrel, you know. Um, and yeah, I watched, I'm telling you, like I, I did a lot of research into this because last time my finger was on the trigger was in the soviet army in 1985 i mentioned this before when we shot uh, uh, akm which is pretty much like kalashnikov uh, full auto you know like select fire but it was a paratrooper version and instead of a regular wooden stock it had a metal kind of like frame folding stock and so it was very short right so you would fold it and that's how when you jump with a parachute it's on your chest and it's very short and i'm pretty sure it was loaded with a 556 nato not like traditional like kalashnikov was shooting 762 this was uh, smaller bullets but it was still kicking pretty good i remember we were shooting at night with tracer bullets man and the bullets were like i remember thinking wait a second why are they all over the place you know you shoot something and you would think the bullet, you know, the tracer, you see uh, the light would be just, you know, one after another. But they were like this, you know, probably I was shaking or something. You know? <laughs> but it was a real select fire, um, you know, fully auto machine gun, which, of course, they're prohibited here. You cannot you cannot buy them anymore. So that was just like once in a lifetime experience. But uh so and then so i started from sh with shotguns then i went to rifles and i thought no no no, i'm just over complicating things i never shot anything in the last 38 years should go start you know s should start small so i went back to to um shotguns and i like american stuff right and so i was clearly thinking about these three main brands in my opinion i would say mossberg remington and then, of course, everybody says the best of the best is Benelli M4. And, uh, and Mossberg versus Remington, what I discovered is that they say a Remington is favored by police, whereas Mossberg is favored by the military. And for me, that was a sign that the Mossberg is better, because especially Mossberg 590A1 uh, passed those uh, that special military test where it was a you know the only shotgun that passed that test uh for durability and reliability and so it is like up to the military standards right and so i was leaning towards mossberg because of that because it's more of a military tactical shotgun and uh and then some people were saying well remington is better quality but I really like the safety to be on the back of the receiver. To me, it's uh, just more intuitive. And that's, of course, Mossberg under the Remington is diff different. And then I read that Remington went bankrupt in 2020. 
And for me, that's like a big no-no. If the company went bankrupt, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, so I, I don't know what kind of quality they're going to be making when it's when they're bankrupt. And so the Remington was off the board. And so I was looking closely at uh, Mossberg 500 series. And I was trying to find 590A1 because of the heavier barrel, right? That's the military version. 590A1, it has a heavy, uh, heavy profile barrel. So, and then uh, I think the trigger guard is metal, whereas on the regular civilian shotgun, like regular 500, it's plastic. And people were saying it cracks. And so I was leaning towards this 590A1, like an army version of the Mossberg. And then I realized something when I when it finally was time to go to um, uh, to the uh, C what is it Canadian Firearm Safety Code CF uh, SC uh, I learned an interesting thing because before that's the question I couldn't get answers to you know I would go to Cabela or, or Bass Pro Shop and you know there's guys in there you know lots of guys very helpful. And there's a, I went to Cabela when I was in uh, uh, waiting for the permit with a big load I had in Barry, right? I was sitting there for two weeks waiting for a permit. I took uh, took my truck, went to Cabela over there, talked to guys. They were very helpful. You know, I was asking questions about calibers for rifle stuff like that when I was in the rifle buying stage. But now I was back in the shotgun research stage. And so I went in and I said... Uh, I think it was over here in Calgary and I asked the guy so uh, what's the maximum capacity you know you can have in a shotgun and the guy says well if you're hunting it's three but other than, if you're not hunting it's five okay no wait a second this was in uh, Canada uh, in Ontario before I took the course because when I went to the course the most important thing I learned is that in Canada uh, capacity for non-auto um, firearms is not regulated so let me say that again so if you have a something like a bolt action rifle or a pump action shotgun they don't care what kind of a magazine or how many cartridges you put in so it can be 20 whatever right so 30 whatever is not prohibited in general um, and so for me that was like a big like eye opener wait a second so if i have a pump action shotgun i can and I, that's where i started looking at this super interesting 590m with a magazine uh which can look ridiculous with a 20 uh 20 shot magazine but 10 or 15 they look okay and you can even buy five shot mag you know five round mag and so i started looking into this and so on the one hand with a Mossback 590M, I can have a 20 shot, 20 round magazine if I want to, right? And then on the Benelli side, all semi-auto rifles and shotguns are limited to five round mags or five round capacity only. So that's the rule in Canada and it's all federal. So no matter what province you live in, Ontario, Quebec, Alberta, BC, if you buy a Benelli M4, uh, it's all five five rounds. That's it. And you know, I remember watching the Keanu Reeves, if this John Wick movie, right? What is it? Uh, John Wick Two. There's a scene there where he goes to Rome, and he gets a Benelli M4, right? And then he also gets a bunch of other guns. And he gets a pistol, and then there's a scene in the tunnels, which is very telling because. Again, Benel, I think in the movie, somebody was saying, there was another review that's saying that in the movie, he had some special edition of that Benelli, and he had seven rounds instead of regular five, which probably is legal in US. But again, here it's not legal. You can only have five. And so he's fighting the bad guys with that, with that Benelli. And of course, in two seconds, he runs out of bullets or cartridges. And then as he recharging one by one, and of course, you know, that's just stupid, right? Like, it's kind of like trying to feed uh, cartridges into a magazine, you know, for your, for your uh, machine gun or something. 
and the fight is going on and he's feeding cartridges into that Benelli overpriced Benelli M4 and some bad guy shows up so he has to grab a pistol and shoot that guy with a pistol and that to me like you know a big no-no and that's why all the armies any everywhere in the world they all switch to magazines right why because of this guy instead of a Benelli M4 he had a Mossberg 590M he would have three or four magazines around him right somewhere okay they're not that they're not that big right so he would have he would have a couple of these like you know you can get a vest right and so he's shooting the bad guys okay he ran out of 10 rounds on this one he just drops it on the ground hooks up another one one second you have another 10 rounds okay so in a in a battle in a fight to me that's a far superior design the magazine system and again that's why all armies you know unless you're a sniper right and you have all the time in the world then yeah you have a bolt action oh, you have a bolt action rifle but in a fight when there's a bad guys all around you magazine system right that's why it was invented and so that was this i wanted to find that clip you know i wanted to post it here but i'm afraid that you know youtube might might not like it when you when you clip uh, a feature film even for like a few seconds i know some people say you can do it but uh, i wanted to find that because that was a very funny thing when the guy is trying to feed a cartridge with bullets flying around him and then he has to stop grab his pistol and i'm guessing it was a glock uh, and he had like 17 or 20 rounds in there and he shoot the bad guys and then he continued loading and then there was another scene where uh, he pinned the guy with a Benelli and he has and he tries to shoot him he pinned him with a barrel and he tries to shoot him he has no <laughs> he has no rounds so he took one round put in the chamber and then shot him again if he had this he would be much better and so that's why like again as i was thinking about mossberg 590m now we are on the mossberg side i'm i'm definitely interested in 590m because of this that the capacity is not limited um versus the benelli so definitely in terms of usefulness 590m really wins and even of course you know i'm not gonna do hunting or whatever but when i go to target target to, to a range you know i don't want to sit there and reload like especially like Benel, right five rounds and it's semi-automatic so it's very fast do, 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 do. and basically then half of the time or maybe three quarters of the time you're just refilling that and there's no mag right so you cannot just bring pre-loaded mags from home so when you're at the range half of the time you spend you know feeding cartridges into the into the um into the shotgun and so in my opinion even though it's a pump action shotgun of course i would love to have a semi-auto but because of the fact that it's you can have a higher magazine capacity and because it's a magazine uh, like the convenience of having a magazine and you can preload them at the range right and then you can shoot you know 50 60 you know 100 cartridges you don't have to wait and and so that was the deciding factor between these two but the final straw i would say that broke the camel's back was the price right i got this mossberg like this was a very good time to get them you know during christmas and all these deals so i think i paid um i paid uh it was like 729 canadian i think they charged me something for shipping and of course there's a sales tax five percent sales tax but 729 canadian divided by 1.35 i'm just looking at the calculator here. that's 540 bucks us so i paid 540 bucks us for the very nice you know tested and proven shotgun and 590m why it has that 90 in the in the in the model name it's because it has a heavy barrel it's the same barrel i'm pretty sure the use of on 590a1 so it's a very nice shotgun and then again another reason to choose a, a pump action is because they're more reliable right i know okay modern semi-auto they're pretty good but still uh you can get a jam right with a, with a pump action the chance of that 
especially with Mossberg system where you have dual extractors, you know, it's super reliable, I think, in my opinion. And uh, so manual versus semi-auto plus magazines and so plus reliability. And then the last factor, of course, was the price. That's what I started talking about. So 540 bucks US versus $2,000 US. And over here, of course, our prices are higher and everything in Canada. And when I was looking, uh, like on Cabela's website, on Cabela Canada, I think that Benelli in the summer was selling for 2,800 Canadian. But now during Christmas, they took off uh, $200 and it was uh, 2600 Canadian so but 2600 divided by 1.35 that's 1925 US so still 2000 bucks you know so it's four times more expensive than Mossberg um, 590M and that's the reason why I chose Mossberg 590M over Remington and Benelli thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.